Hi, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're going to look at how to convert some of your files that you already have on your computer and convert those into a more Google friendly version. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at PowerPoints and converting them into Google Slides and then also Word documents and converting them into Google Docs. So the first thing you want to do is open up Google Chrome and you're going to go to your drive and the easiest way to do that is just start typing in drive at the top in the Omni bar and then you'll see it pop up or you could look for the icon. So the next thing you want to do is look for that file on your computer. So I have most of my files, for example, stored on the Z drive. So you have to navigate in your Z drive to find where that file is located. I'm going to go here to the eighth grade file and I'm just going to type in the word PowerPoint to search for an example that we can use. Okay, so now I have my PowerPoint files that I want to convert. Next, I'm going to go over to my drive. I'm going to open that back up and you're going to go up here to this gear icon and that's your settings. Click on that gear and then go over and click on settings. And right here under the general settings, you're going to see convert uploads and you want to make sure that this box is checked. Once you've checked that box, what that's going to do is automatically convert those documents that are stored on your Z drive and in the Word format or in PowerPoint format, they're going to convert those into the Google friendly formats. Okay, so your last step now is to find the file and I'm going to go here and take this intro to measurement file and I'm just going to click it and I'm going to drag it into my drive. The drive will pop open so I'm, just, I'm still holding it. I'm dragging it. I'm going to dra drag it over to the drive and if there's a specific folder you want to drop it into, you can do that too at this point because the, the folder will expand and you'll see subfolders within your drive. I'm just going to drop it in my drive. And then you'll see in the lower right hand part of your screen, the box pops up and it tells you the status of that file. So you can also go to recent over here on the left hand side and you'll be able to find that file in recent. So right here is the file and it's intro to measurement. And you notice this symbol right here next to it, the symbol is now the Google slide symbol. So it's converted it automatically for me into a Google slides format. And that's what we were trying to do. So when I open that up, now instead of being in PowerPoint, it's in Google Slides. And I have this warm up activity here and I have the answers that I was looking for. Next, we're gonna do a Word document and we're gonna do the same exact process. We're gonna click and drag the Word document and we're gonna drag it down to Google Chrome icon at the bottom. And I'm gonna go over to where we did last time and I'm just gonna drop it right into Drive, or I could drop it into a specific folder within Drive if I want to, but I'm just gonna drop it in Drive right here. On the lower right-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see it pops up again and gives you the status. You'll see a green circle with a white check mark in it. And then I also can see that right here in my recent documents, this is the file that I just converted over to now. It's a Google document instead of a Word document. Now when I open up the file, you can see it is now converted into a Google document and this might be a little bit more friendly to share with students on Google Classroom. Uh, sometimes what you're gonna find is you might have some issues with some animations that are in PowerPoints. You might have issues with formatting in one of your Google Docs if it has a lot of charts and pictures in it. So that's something you have to take a look at and make sure that the converted version is what you want it to be and make sure it looks the same. If we go back here to settings, you can always uncheck this box and you can convert each file on an individual basis if you want to. So if you don't want it to do this automatic conversion for you, you can uncheck that and then it will give you the option of just loading into Google Drive your Word document or your PowerPoint. And then you can, in some circumstances, if you want to, share those in your Google Classroom with students as a PowerPoint or a Word document. You can still do that. That's an option. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about where you have a version of the file that's in PowerPoint right here and then I have a Google Slides version. So in this one, I didn't do the automatic conversion. I just uploaded it as PowerPoint. So if I double click that and open it, it's gonna open as a PowerPoint, as you can see here. Now I can, I do have the option if I go to the top I have the option to open it in Google Slides. So that's another way that you can kind of convert some of those Word and PowerPoint files. You can convert them on an individual basis if you want to. So going back here to my settings in Drive, if I check the box, 
that allows me to convert the files automatically. What that means is that really you could, if you, if you thought about it, what you could do is take your files that are in your Z drive. If you have numerous Word documents, PowerPoints that are in there for different units, you could create folders within Drive now and then what you can do is highlight all those files at once and do a massive file drop into Drive and it will convert all of those automatically for you into the Google Docs version and to the Google Slides versions. Okay, well that'll do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org and until next time, have a great day.